Huntsville, Alabama. For the first time, I'm here with the camera, trying to see what the scene is all about. All right, this is my very first stop, fresh off the plane, right to your fair city to see what the hype is about. I'm in front of a spot. Y'all know where I'm at. G's Home Cooking. Y'all know exactly what's going on. I'm about to find out. Let's go in and check out G's Home Cooking. Come on, y'all. I guess you order. Uh, the, we don't have chairs. We ordered 30 chairs. Yep, and then the bowls you guys gave us are like side bowls. They're super, super, super small. Um, they're supposed to be soup bowls. So we have a problem with the bowls and we have a problem with the chairs. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? How you doing? This place you on a brief hold every two seconds is ridiculous. You need to place an order, sir? I will. Um, if you give me one second, I'm handling some business that's a little important. So as soon as I get done with this, I'll be over to see you, okay? Thank you so much. All right, got the menu in front of me. Uh, typical soul food stuff, right? So we got chicken breast, we got pork chops, we got catfish. Now they got side dishes. Today's special is meatloaf, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, green beans, and cornbread. That's what we got. So it's traditional stuff. Let's just hope it's traditional and amazing. All right, so let's place an order. Okay. Uh, I like to order the food first, if possible. All right, thank you. Um. Uh, before I place an order, are there any eggs in this mac and cheese you got? Are you absolutely one hundred percent sure? Yeah. Can you ask? Because that's going to determine whether I get it or not. Can you ask me? Thank you so much. Then why don't I do uh, the meatloaf okay. with mac and cheese, okay. green beans, okay. and I'll take cornbread on that one. Okay. Um, I'll also do. One more side. You get three sides. Yep. Oh, um, turtle greens. Turtle greens, okay. Yep. Cornbread. Yeah, it's fine. You want the onion and tomato? Yeah, if that's how it comes. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Um. Let's just do an order of the fried chicken. Um, dark meat, please. Okay. And it still come with three sides, too? It come with two. Two. Okay, fine. Perfect. Let's do the fried corn and the... Try the yams, if you like yams. I don't like yams. Yeah, I don't like sweet potatoes. Nope. Um, what'd I say? A fried corn and collard greens on this one. Um, and then... Why well, don't I try the pork chop? Plate... Cor uh, uh, roll on that one, right. and then we'll do hush puppies on the pork chop. Okay. Uh, I'll get that with northern beans and fried green tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, to drink, you got sweet tea lemonade. What you got? I got Kool Aid, lemonade, Coke products. Uh, got, no sweet tea. Yeah, I got sweet tea. So let's do two sweet teas and one lemonade. Is it all homemade? Sweet tea? Okay, yeah. So two sweet teas and one, on a, and one lemonade. Okay. Yep, thank you. All right, there's the order. Let's see what it's hitting on, y'all. All right, lemonade and sweet tea are here. Let's see how homemade it is. It's all right. No, it's not all right. It has a aftertaste I'm not really fond of. Eh, lemonade's not balanced, but whatever. You can't win them all, can you? I bet you if you mix them together, they'll probably be all right. Um, but there's a, a slight aftertaste that comes from the sweet tea that's not my preference. And then the lemonade runs like sweet water with a touch of lemon, but you try. I don't want to talk about these people's stuff too bad because you know what they say. You always stand down people's stuff, Jerry. You always do All right, I'm telling you my opinion on what I think. That's what I think, all right? Let's check out this food. Thing. Okay, okay, it's his personal thing. They, they drinking it over here. He said it's too sweet for him. <laughs> okay, all right, it's probably gonna be too sweet for me too then. She just brought me some um, Kool-Aid. She said she wanted me to try it. It's her uncle's personal, he makes it. All right, let me see. Way too sweet. This is Kool-Aid, but it's way too sweet. You need to put like half Kool-Aid right here and the rest of it needs to be water. I gotta rate these, don't I? They are right. Middle of the road, average. Two and a half out of five. Two and a half. All right. 
Um, hopefully the food gonna be out here. We've been here sitting a little bit. All right, let's let's keep waiting for this food. Excuse me. I don't mean to make a big fuss. I placed this order at 428. It's 523. Is there anything we could do? Oh, I placed the order at 428. I know. Did you check out the sign on the door when you walked in and said this is not a fast We tried to yeah. take the order when you first came in. Right, but I placed it at 428. Huh? I said, I know you tried to place it. I was finishing a phone call. I placed it an hour ago. It's been a whole hour. It ain't been no hour, bro. I, sir, I was on the phone. I got, it's been, I placed it at Let's go. So, good morning. I know just a few seconds ago, it was evening and now it's morning. Uh, as you can see from the footage, not a very good experience at G's Home Cooking. So I had to be a Capricorn and do what Capricorns do and send somebody to pick up my food. He gave me an earful about what they're discussing in the restaurant, but hey, that's neither here nor there. We have the food in front of us from G's Home Cooking. So now I can give you a full assessment and I'm gonna be very honest with you. Even if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. And even if I do like it, I'm going to tell you how it tastes, all right? This is the fried pork chop. I'm having it with the fried okra. And then there's also some fried corn here as well. All right, so I'm going to dig into the corn and let me see that first. Because so nobody make better corn than my grandma would. All right, it's good. I didn't want to tell you it's good, but it's good. Pork chops a little dry, but it is seasoned. So for me, it's like a four out of five. The corn is of the better restaurant mass-produced corn that you're gonna get. So it's a four out of five. The okra is bad. Okra is like a one out of five. There's no seasoning on the okra, and you can't just take okra and fry it and then put it on a plate, right? You got to do something with some seasoning. Whether you season the okra before you fry it, season it after you fry it. Season it when it's frying. Doesn't matter to me, just season the okra, all right? Uh, so the okra for me is like a one out of five. Next plate in front of me is the fried chicken. Let me show you this. And I have it with the mac and cheese and the collard greens. Now the mac and cheese look a little, a little funny looking. You know, they don't bake their mac and cheese in Alabama. I'm not really sure why. But let me see how it tastes anyway. I don't know. Out of a box, not good. Collard greens. Oh. <coughs> Collard greens are tough. The bitter, not cooked all the way, no seasoning. It's almost as if they took the collard greens, cleaned them, put them in water, and put it on a plate. That's what it tastes like. All right. Fried chicken. Now, the fried chicken do look a little good now. I went to this other place y'all know of. Uh, called Betty Mays, and they fried chicken was amazing. So let me see if this fried chicken can come close to this one. Oh, it's all right. Church fried chicken on like a, I don't even know what to tell you, right? I couldn't even compare it to nothing. It's not, it's not that good. You know what you get? I get chicken. I get greasy, I get fried, that's about it. I don't get seasoning. I don't get any of the other things that make a fried chicken juicy and amazing. Yeah, so I just get the ba the bare minimum on the chicken. So yeah, I need a little more effort on my chicken. At least try. Don't be a pillow princess, right? I need you to at least try. Can you moan? Can you uh, bite my ear? Can you scratch my back? You know what I'm saying? Can you caress my head? You gotta do something. You just can't lay there and beef fried chicken. You got to put some energy and effort. It takes two to tango. You know what I'm saying? So being on tango, I won't do it by myself. What you here for then? <laughs> Next plate in front of me. All right, this is the meatloaf. And the meatloaf is coming with uh, potato salad, looks like. Some cabbage. And a fried green tomato. All right, come on, green tomatoes. Are they green? Yeah, they green. And they taste very green. 
the cabbage. Yeah. The meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Meatloaf is all right. The only saving grace in the meatloaf is that tangy sauce on top. I was born in the 80s, so I like a nice ketchupy thing on top. That's why I like that. Cabbage is just okay. Needs a little help. Fried green tomatoes need a little help. So, all right, we can fairly assess. Let me try this cornbread. I only want to try it because it's not sweet. Yeah, it's not sweet. Y'all don't like sweet cornbread down here. Um, that's not sweet at all. Use that to make cornbread dressing. Don't use that to go with my greens. All right. So, okay, if I could give you a rating on this, cabbage is a two. It's a whole, the whole thing is a two. It's just like, it's all right. It's not amazing, right? And I think that sort of goes in line with what a lot of y'all was telling me in the actual comments. Like, Darius, I mean, it's okay. It's not amazing. Same on the green beans, right? No effort, no energy applied. It's just a green bean. Maybe because it's like mass produced, I guess. I'm not really sure, but it's all right. Uh, I may not make a special trip for it, but it's okay. In terms of an overall score for the restaurant, it's a two out of five. Service is horrible, as you can see from the previous video, but food itself is not even that amazing. So I'm giving it a two out of five, but don't let that stop you. I keep telling you, restaurants like the one we're at, G's Home Cooking, need our love, support our dollars. So come on down, support, and when you get done, get in my comment section and let me know exactly what you thought. But come check them out.